All right, we're back with another episode of uh, North Texas RC Crawlers. And uh, this is what I would like to call my RC build. As promised last time, I would do a uh, another video on this, a tech video. Um, not showing any builds or uh, any uh, upgrades or anything that I'm doing yet as far as uh, showing the process. But I'll show you what I have done. And uh, let's get started with this one. Okay, so this one right here. Uh, is a started off as a OG SCX10 honcho. Uh, I painted the body uh, recently, and uh, well, it's not doing so great. I have uh, flakes everywhere. Uh, it looks it looks good, um, and I think I can go back in and uh, redo some of this on the inside. But for the most part. It's just, uh, it's kind of falling apart. But where I, where I go crawl, it's extremely rough on these things. So, uh, all together, it's, it's all right with me. So, on this one right here, I have a, a set of, let's start with the wheels and tires. So, uh, the wheels I, on here, these are just, uh, Chanquish. They're, uh, Vanquish lookalike wheels. I get them off of eBay for, they're about $55. They uh, apparently are exact replicas of Vanquish. And uh, I'm not uh, condoning going and buying anything like that. I'd rather you support um, uh, the American made or uh, the American companies or, you know, uh, just I'd rather you support, you know, the uh, companies that come up with this. However, uh, not all of us are can afford the uh, $120 price tag after all said and done on the Vanquish. So uh, these right here uh, off eBay. Um, they they use SLW hubs. They uh, they come with the hubs. They come with uh, everything you see here, and they are awesome so far. Absolutely love them. Um, now these are again the uh, Proline TSL XL Super Swampers 4.75 um, tire. I have like cut down stock foams in here, and they are extremely soft. Um, I do not really care for them all that much, but uh, as uh, my um, funds have uh, diminished at this moment in time, uh, I cannot get the CI foams uh, right now, which is perfectly fine. Uh, this thing will still crawl with the best of them. Okay, on this build as well, I just, I have uh, the shocks uh, that I um, spoken uh, spoke about in the last one. I have the beef tips on here, and uh, it's the axial stock shocks with the uh, Chris, sorry, the fish crawler parts uh, mod on it. Um, this is actually an RC uh, 149 Works uh, chassis. Um, I love this chassis right here. It uh, provide it, it makes it a little bit more a low center of gravity, puts all your electronics down below. Give you a lot more shock options or shock placement options. Um, I have uh, finished it off with these uh, fish crawler parts uh, cross members here, and uh, on both front and back. Um, fish gives you quite a bit when you actually order these. Uh, I just chose to only use two. Um, I have supports here, and my bumper is supported up here. On this one, I have a scalar fab front bumper. Uh, this thing is beefy. If you don't know much about Scalar Fab bumpers, uh, they are extremely beefy bumpers. Now, on this one, I ha also have a, a really nice expert servo right now. I am in love with this servo. It costs $100 on eBay. Uh, and it has uh, 400 and something ounces of torque at 7.4 uh, volts. So, I mean, it's, it's great 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 uh servo now like i said this started as an scx10 uh og honcho so um i still got the frame rails down below it's um for the most part it is it's just uh an scx10 still in my eyes but um in reality it's completely it, it's changed completely from the original uh, i mean the the wheelbase is different the uh, all the geometry is different um, because of this frame um, and really uh, the only stock <laughs> option on here anymore or stock uh, thing from the SCX10 is going to be the rear axle. The rear axle is the only thing stock 
except for the rear um, uh, gears in it. The rear gears are actually um, underdrive gears. Uh, the front axle, let me spin this around real quick. Um, this is a the SC, uh, SCX10 axle with the XR mod, the narrow XR mod. Um, I forget what brand these uh, uh, steering links are, but you get them off of Beef Tube's website, and they are for specifically the narrow XR mod. Um, this narrow XR mod it uses the Beef Tube Wraith Beef Tubes up in uh, in it. Um, then you connect these Wraith uh, knuckles and uh, knuckles and chubs here to it, and uh, it adds just quite a bit of weight to the front, and it also increases the steering. Which, if you don't know, uh, SCX-10s aren't really known for their steering. They were extremely, uh, they had the worst steering out of any uh, crawler I've seen so far. Um, this is a, a great little uh, truck. It'll go uh, pretty much everywhere my 10-2 will go. In fact, uh, I, have them set, I have them set up both where they'll, they'll both go. Um, essentially anywhere I want them to go. Um, there's a few obstacles here and there that uh, give me some trouble, but uh, if they didn't give me trouble, then uh, th I mean I'd I'd probably win every contest out there, which I don't uh, crawl I don't crawl for in contests yet. But man, I wish I could. Um, on this right here, I have the Vanquish uh, aluminum housing here. Um, I have a Castle slate. Uh, 2850 hooked up to it. Uh, 58 tooth spur gear, 32 pitch with a nine tooth pinion. Um, and then I have the Castle Mamba X right here. I'm telling you what, if you want a power plant, that system that I have right there, that is a power plant. It will take you anywhere. It has good wheel speed. Um, Good low end crawling. Uh, just I have an all around great experience with this. This whole setup is amazing. Um, let me flip this over a little bit. As you can see here, I still have the stock drive shafts on here. Now I just replaced uh, the the part with the splines about five minutes ago. Um, it was twisting on me, so stock drive shafts. I do twist them every once in a while. I don't twist them uh, up, I don't pretzel them, but um, I do twist them in the sense that uh, they kind of start binding a little bit and um, I just went ahead and, and changed them out. They There's nothing uh, wrong with using the stock ones, it actually creates a, um, a weak point, however I destroyed my transmission gears and still didn't break my axles. So, uh, you want to call it a weak point or you want to call it uh, an inferior option, go ahead. But uh, I'm going to use those stock drive shafts until I can't find them anymore because uh, there's no point in putting any metal ones on right now. Um, now on here also my links, you see these red links back here? These are all actual Traxxas links. Um, they, they're for a Revo I believe. In fact all the front ones are as well. They're all Traxxas. And that's what I use. I, I just use Traxxas links. I mix and match until I find the links that actually work. They are strong. They have the Revo rod ends. They come with metal ball ends. And um, they are absolutely just, to me, the best links I can buy. I've used the Axial ones. They're horrible. Um, I've looked at other prices of other links out there. And they're, you know, ridiculously expensive. So... For $10 a pair, I, you can't go wrong with good old Traxxas links. Um, support your local hobby shop, go in there. Most hobby shops, even if they don't carry Axial products, usually have Traxxas products, and they will have Traxxas links. So uh, you might as well go in there, get you some Traxxas uh, links, um, fit them to however you need to fit them. And I mean, take your crawler up there. If you if you got a certain... Uh, link that you need to get or you don't know how your pinion angle is going to be take it up there now if you look back here you see my pinion angle I I have this uh, clocked back um, to where my pinion angle is I mean it's great there's nothing uh, gonna be in a bind or anything um, same way with up front 
I, I don't I, I clock them to where they're it will not get into a bind that's the last thing I want is to bind up my axles um, you know if you look right here at my transmission these are a little bit more but they're not as much as if I didn't clock them or clock the axles how I did um, for everyone who likes to keep their axles perfectly level uh, I mean that's good and all but even in um, your uh, real uh, vehicles um, if you if you have an off-road vehicle you will and you lift it any at all you're gonna want to clock that uh, axle just a little bit to keep that pinion angle nice and that's essentially all uh, I have done um, so this is uh, my build radioactive um, it, it's an absolutely awesome build I do want to switch over the axles to 10 2 axles I'm gonna buy the beef tube um, uh, SCX 10 2 axles so are just for the front just for the front so I can have that nice weight up front and then I have uh, an axle housing and everything ready to go for and all the gears uh, ready to go for when I do that and I'm just gonna switch it right on over there's no point in um, buying anything else besides a set of universals and that housing and uh, I'm ready to go now uh, on to a, a few little mods and changes that I did to my 10-2 uh, let's see well a 10-2 still looks basically the same however if I flip this over you'll see now I have uh, Curry F9s underneath this and I went out today and holy cow this thing performed amazingly better than I thought it would I even went back to CMS on it and it works amazingly now today I kind of screwed up um, over here and uh, I worked that screw out so I had to go in I don't know if we can get in there and see this but I had to put a nut on the end of that screw to keep my CMS mount on. Um, but other than that, uh, this truck performed outstandingly. Um, and if I could, uh, if I could go back out today, which I, I still may, um, go out and try it again. I mean, uh, I don't know if my radioactive build will do as good as this thing anymore. Uh, we'll, we'll have to see, but, uh, these Curry F9s, for the price that you pay they are worth it I know um, a lot of people tell you to stick with plastic in which I I'm a I'm a big proponent of the plastic axles because they slide over the rocks I tell you I had no issues today with uh, my axles actually catching on on any rocks and not sliding over them they slid just perfectly fine um, over these uh, over the rocks and if um, in my video of this uh, car the other day, that's where I went out to today. Um, and if you look at the, all the rocks, the rocks are jagged and uh, just uh, very grippy. And they tear up your tires like crazy. Um, that's why these are all vented and everything now because I, I tore holes into them and was getting water into them. And I, I just went ahead and drilled some more holes into them so they can um, be a little bit more vented and let that air out. Other than that, uh, these two builds, I um, really enjoy them. If you have any questions, please uh, comment below, and I will be happy to answer them. Also, please subscribe, uh, share my videos, uh, so on and so forth. Thank you.